Welcome to the Holiday Parade 2018. We're here on a beautiful sunny day. It's a tropical day, I think, uh, John and Paul. Uh, certainly better than the 10 degrees at the Brockton High School uh, football game on Thanksgiving. Oh my God, that was that was unbelievable. But you know, it's July. Why wouldn't it be a nice day? That's right, Christmas in July. Christmas in July. Christmas in July. Well, frost is at the Eastern Ice House until they start right up. He, so go ahead. Mark. No, no, no. I, I was just going to say we got a lot of things to cover here, and and I just wanted to pay uh, tribute to uh, Mr. McQueen and, and Mr. Landerholm before we started out. Vinnie McQueen is our parade marshal, and and I started with Vinnie back in 1991 uh, on this parade. And it's become a community event because of his commitment to not only his students, but to all the youth in Brockton. So I'm so proud of having him as the parade marshal. And Mr. Kyle Landerholm, he is just an icon when it comes to history for Brockton. And he's the president of the Alumni Association, as well as the president of the Historical Society. And he's dedicated his life. Actually, he retired from the Historical Society, he's still on the board. But uh, Nicole Casper, the archivist over at Stonehill, is our president. We, he was succeeded by Jim Benson, and I'd like to give remember Jim, too, for all the great work he did in the city of Brockton um, for years and years with Historical. There are so many people that we want to remember this year as well, your mom, John, being one of them, well, great lady in, in Brockton. You know, Mark, uh, it, she loved Christmas, my mom, Alice, raise your Marion, and... Um, she, she loved this day, she loves this season, and her gift to this city is us and my brother and I being involved with this holiday parade for over 32 years. Um, so we'll miss her, but she's here in spirit. Um, but we want to talk about also uh, Fabiola Hippolyte, and today was her funeral. Uh, so sad. So sad. Yes. Um, Fabi was someone who was a bright, shining light and helped all sorts of other people despite going through tough times with uh, her treatment and her cancer. Um, she was inspirational over, o along with Ro Royale in creating the Empowerment Center that's over in Stoughton Center. I hear sirens, John. I do too, and um, you know what? It's a great day to remember uh, her on her funeral. Again, my mother um, this year passed away, and also we're gonna talk about Armand Colombo, who we lost a few weeks ago, who was an icon for Brockton football. So. When you talk about community, you talk about people that have affected the community in a positive way. And we've lost them, but we're going to celebrate that today. And we're going to celebrate it with our community, along with our parade marshal and our James Edgar Award winner. So it's a great day for all that. So part. it's fitting that the sun is shining down on us all, and we're going to have a nice, nice parade. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see the weather we have today. We're very fortunate and very lucky. We've been here. We're kind of like the post office. We've been here through all types of weather, uh, wind and rain and sleet and no hail and no locusts. We're, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that out. Correct, correct. And we have been uh, very, very fortunate when it comes to weather. Uh, but, you know, look at all the people. They, they come out, you know, when it's nice weather. Uh, we had one year when it was a little rainy. Uh, although it wasn't, uh, you know, a monsoon, but they come out in the thousands, speaks to the community, to the commitment. The, you know, the, 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 the cultural diversity, I think, and I say it over and over, is the strength of our community. And so, you know, we have a Swedish man that we're honoring as a James Edgar Award recipient, uh, an Italian, okay, who is our parade marshal, right? Yeah. Fabiola, you know, Haitian, mm -hmm. all right, Mr. Colombo, Italian, you know, Alice, Marion, who's Armenian, and then the, 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 the whole street is lined with an international cultural affair. Absolutely. And I, I, I have a dream at some point that we're going to have all that food together in one place, John. We're international <laughs> food festival. We downtown, have a, right? Sure. Of course, and, downtown. And, and of course, we have our Jewish uh, representation. Every, everybody, that's why Brockton's such a special place. Right. You know? Uh, been here all my life. I see the I see the cruises right at the end of the street. I do not have a picture in my monitor, however, and uh, we're going to look at uh, what they have uh, coming by, and we'll probably get the monitor in a bit. I hope because it helps us to see who we have on camera and we can talk about them. So we we're going to you know start off of course with public safety, and you can't say enough about public safety in Brockton, John. Uh, police and fire department, um, second to none. Oh, 100%. And, you know, uh, the downtown area is is 
bustling right now. And you know what? It's all about public safety. When it comes, people want to feel safe. They want to be able to walk the streets. And our police do a tremendous job with that. Our fire department, of course, incredible job uh, and a legacy of history with the fire department. Well, we're not going to be able to hear in a moment. We'll let the, the sirens go and uh, we'll see the first uh, the police motorcycle unit. Right behind them is the uh, Brockton Police Honor Guard. Yeah, we want to thank the police department for doing an incredible job for us and keeping our, our community safe so that our children can uh, play in the streets like we did when we were younger. And here comes the honor guard once again. Uh, we want to thank the Brockton Police Department. And following the uh, honor guard, we have uh, our parade marshal, uh, Mr. Vincent Macrina, who I've had the honor of uh, working with in, on this parade for the better part of uh, 30 years. And Mr. Macrina yeah. is just uh, an incredible inspiration to the youth. I had um, three... Right? Right? No, and you know what? I had uh, three students uh, who have gone through his band program. And uh, I'll tell you, when you see this band come through, Vinny, Thank you. you've done a great job with the band and an incredible job for our community. We thank you so much. So I get a question for you guys. How are we, we going to do? How's, is he going to get out at, at the other end of the parade and then go back and conduct, conduct the uh, the band? Well, it's a surprise, Mike. Okay, It's fine. a surprise. Okay, I didn't mean to blow it. Well, that's okay. Uh, behind him is uh, Mr. Kyle Landerholm for our Good Samaritan James Edgar Community Award recipient. And uh, as I said, Kyle has taught me so much about history. But his one thing that he wants to uh, resonate with everybody is to create a sense of place here in Brockton, Massachusetts by teaching the history. Um, Behind him, we have the James Edgar float, and on here, we are celebrating our award recipients for the James Edgar Essay Award and the um, Art uh, the art Award. So our uh, winner for the Edgar Award is Edmund Ajule from the Angelo School. We have Lorelei Rojas from Davis as a honorable mention, Avery O'Brien from Brookfield, and Asray Smith from Brookfield as honorable mentions. And we have all of the elected officials right behind, uh, Mayor Carpenter, uh, State Senator Mike Brady, Representative Cronin, John Buckley, Jerry Cassidy. Thank you, Mayor. And City Councilors Sullivan, Cruz, and, uh, and Jack Lally, Susan DeCastro, Ann Beauregard, Shirley Asap. I got them all. So we want to thank uh, School, Mayor Carpenter. School Committee members, Brett Gormley, Michelle Dubois in the back, Tom Minicello, Mark D'Agostino, Tim Sullivan, Judy Sullivan, and Joyce Asak. I you hope got I got them all. Them all. I I, I'm sitting here. I'm an elected official, but I'd rather be at Parade Central. Well, I want to do a special shout out, you know, to Mayor Carpenter, to the City Council, to the School Committee, uh, to Kathy Smith for supporting this parade in such a, uh, a, a dynamic way. And you have the, the pipes and drums coming up. I think they might stop and we might have we might take a listen to them.
was an incredible performance. I love hearing the pipes and drums, Paul. <laughs> oh, there you go. And I think uh, in December they're doing uh, what's called the pub crawl. That should be interesting, so we'll have to send out a team. Uh, so that. what I wanted to cover as the uh, Edgar float went by, also the Harbor mm -hmm. One uh, art contest, we have winner uh, Dora Duval. Uh, we have honorable mention uh, for Rosandro Velasquez, honorable mention for David DeMostinis, and then also honorable mention for Sophie Averett. Thank Fire you. department coming through. Fire Chief Michael Williams and his whole crew, and now we're going to see all the fire trucks. Brockton's finest. More, more calls for Engine 1 than any place in the country. I always loved seeing the hook and ladder as a kid. And while we're watching our apparatus drive by this uh, beautiful equipment, it's like the Shout out to Councilor President Ian Erie, who's standing next to us, who couldn't walk in the uh, parade, but he's certainly very supportive of us uh, in the parade and has been for many, many years. And we'll bring him on later when we have a little break in the action. Um, wanna, besides the, the police and fire in Brockton, uh, we have a phenomenal ambulance company that takes care of all of our residents of the City of Champions. Um, Brewster Ambulance, they're coming up. We have a few motorcycles that's, over here. That's uh, Fire and Iron Motorcycle Club. Uh, Scotty McDuffie. And Brockton Emergency Management, which uh, under the direction of Steve Hook, uh, with Anthony Fowler and others, they uh, protect our city in times of crisis. And we want to thank both of them, both Steve and Anthony, for uh, allowing us to use their communication devices today so that we can put the parade together behind the scenes. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate that. As we have a little gap and we see in our monitor, uh, Worcester Sound and Lights Carousel Band is coming. I'd like to say that I'd like to thank uh, Lynn Smith and all the organizers for last night's evening with James Edgar at the War Memorial where we were able to uh, have a very endearing night with uh, Craig O'Connor from the Massasoit Theater Group uh, reading the James Edgar story and also uh, the mayor uh, Mayor Carpenter reading A Night Before Christmas and Brock Capella performing the uh, James Edgar jingle. What a great night. And what a great night it was. You'll get to see that on Brockton Community Access if you didn't get to go. And you know something, Brockton Community Access is world renowned now because of you, Mr. Lindy. Well, it's a whole team effort. We got a great crew and uh, work, also work through all the weather. The, that, that football game the other day in, in the cold, but uh, the sun shining so brightly today can't we can't the see the monitor it's luckily we can see the parade because we're right out on the street right even with that uh new technology with the sky cam it's making it difficult it, it, it sure is what did that sky camera cost you about five hundred eighty thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> that's the budget for the year john <laughs> good try um i see i see clydesdales coming up after this so we we got their return this year but let's let's listen to the um the band. Worcester Sound and Lights. One of my favorites. Really? There's the Clydesdales. So I want to thank Terry Edwards for once again sponsoring the Clydesdales. This is um, an amazing group of horses that the kids just love. And Terry has been so generous in sponsoring this for uh, many, many, many years. T.L. Edwards has been great to the community. So we just want to say thank you, Terry, and thank you for sponsoring this great group of horses. Oh, yeah. 
I agree, Paul. And I was wondering who was going to go behind the horses. It's my friends from the Brockton Rotary Club. They got that banner the whole length of the street. And let me see who I see over there. I see a whole bunch of Rotarians. And Bob Salsman was carrying the sign there with yep. the Rotarian uh, Betty. The, the Rotary sign, Betty Rada. Bill Callahan. Hey, Bill. How you doing? Merry Christmas. And we have the Brockton Housing Authority that's uh, in front of us at this point with a float. Twas the night before Christmas. Resident of the year 2018. Sitting on the back. And we have Brockton Youth Cheerleading come up, coming up. That's, that. Well, it's amazing when we see the youth cheerleaders. I mean, you know, I can't say enough about the commitment with LaRonda Campbell. But um, I, I just, I don't understand how you get 750 little ones, okay, uh, and you get them all together and to perform, okay, in this wonderful event. But she does it every year. All in sync and uh, training for the future uh, for the Brockton boxers and the schools all around Brockton. Brockton youth cheerleading, it, it's like uh, LaRonda's second career. I think they're going to perform there over a little closer to the judges than us. Number 18 was, says, 18 says Cowboy Al. Do you know anything about that, John? Cowboy Al's coming right out behind. He's a station wagon from the Old West. Okay, so All right. 18 is, yeah, they moved it around, the numbers. There are the cheerleaders right over there. Yeah, and great performance again. Nice job. Nice job. Good job, girls. Thank you. And here's Hi. Cowboy, y'all. He, ro he rode in from the Wild West. You know, you might even see John Wayne on there. I don't know, but uh, Al's bringing the wagon back from the old gold rush. <laughs> Happy holidays, USA. Well, but we got of, a cyclist you coming gotta, You through. Cut, a, cut a couple of additions to the parade tonight. And, of course, George Cataldo is on the float, and... Uh, we're hearing some holiday music. You got Mickey and Minnie Mouse up there. I don't know how Disney let them go, but that just shows you how important this parade is. Now we have the Brockton Youth Raiders coming up. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yes, Brockton Youth Raiders. Brockton Raiders Youth Football. Well, they're getting ready for their next game, obviously. Football's happening somewhere, John. Just because it's uh, done in Brockton doesn't mean it's over. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, if you went to the game on Thursday, you want to talk about diehards going to the game. It was a great fourth quarter, and it was a great win for Peter Colombo beating Bridgewater Rainham for the first time in six years. Uh, but a great tribute to Armin Colombo. Getting last, that win. Last 18 seconds of the game. Smash mouth football, just the way Amon liked it. And I know you guys are heavily involved with, uh, you know, working with the Cape Cod Cafe on the Cape Cod uh, Bowls and, uh, you know, just good community partners, everybody. Speaking of Bridgewater Random, the marching band was also at the uh, game, and uh, Sue Manderos does a great job with the Bridgewater Random marching band. We're going to take a listen to them right now.
a great performance that was. And we're going to be joined shortly by Council President Dennis Aneri. As soon as we put the headset on him, in between. So here we have Prince of Peace Lutheran Church. And uh, what do we have here for a uh, theme? I'm trying to see. Happy Holidays. Got all the animals. We got an animal. Must be an animal kingdom. Exactly. Right? The whole African League is here from, uh, we got giraffes and lions and tigers and bears. And we also have Council, council President Dennis Aneri. Hi, Councilor. How are you? I'm, I'm good, Mark. How are you? That's good. Right. Nice. Seeing uh, KO right here come through, Councilor. How you been? Nice to be. I, I'm doing well. Thank you, John. How are you doing? Good? Excellent. Happy Thanksgiving great. and Merry happy, Christmas happy to you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays to you as well. What a great day. Great day. Great day. Couldn't have better weather. Uh, um, so what do you think of all the, all of Brockton turning out for this today, I, I, th I think it's tremendous. It, it's, a, it's a great way of showing the holiday support as we always have each and every year that all you people work so hard to, to bring to the city. It's great. It's great for the champions. It's great for everything going on today. So Con it's nice to see everybody here. Council, really as we watch the Girl Scout Troop 62524 go through, Rocky, I mean, Frosty is on the back of that float. How in the world can yeah. he not melt? I, I <laughs> <laughs> well, after the call we had the other night, it was, it was a little amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was. You, it was. Trinity Catholic That's Academy, Mark? Yes. This is great. It's, it's nice to see so many young young people involved. That's what's nice. You know what I mean? It's nice to see it. That's well, what it's all about. Well, arts and music in Brockton are obviously alive and well in the public schools and in the private schools. Oh, music is another form of education. This is great. It really, really is. It just goes to show what we can do here in the City of Champions. And Dennis, I know... Uh, I met you when you were a school committee member many, many years ago, and all yes. the years you put into that, and now the council, it, it's, it's important. You, well, it is. You've been through some tough times and helped, helped, helped everybody to get through it. That's, that's true, and I appreciate that. And, and there's still some tough times, but we, we're doing well, though. We're doing, we're doing better than we anticipate, so that's what's the plus right now. It's good to see. Yeah, the housing market here is hot. A lot of sales this year, and very and, hot. And, and uh, new housing going up, new revitalization around the city. Exactly, exactly. Well, you know, it's nice to see it, and you know, it's starting right from the core, right. where there was so much activity, you know, years and years ago. And it's nice to see that residents are coming to live, commuting into Boston. It's a safe environment. Oh, absolutely, John. It really is. I mean, that it, it's a positive all around. It's a plus for everyone. It really is. That's why, I, you know, when, when people bring Brockton down a little bit, I get upset with it. But, you know, something, we're, we're a great city. Urban city we are, we work with it. We don't work against it, you work with it. 100%. Right there, we just watched uh, Brockton, Brockton Junior Boxes. After in Greenridge, we want to thank you for being a part of this. Uh, now we have the Ash Street. Uh, association coming through. Rigoberto does a great job nice, up on Ash do. Street. Nice, they do. They do a great job that's, up there. That's my old neighborhood, guys. I grew up there. 200 nice. Ash Street, right that's there. Nice. The Harold Bent Playground. Good job. Yeah, Harold Bent. Former mayor. Former mayor of the city at yeah, one time, yes. You know, the history of Brockton is really rich, and, you know, just finding out about all the... The, the famous names and the people that gave back to the city, you you, you could write a book, and there oh. were a few books written, and, uh, you know, uh, we miss Jim Benson because oh, we know no we're not going to get another book, but oh. we, we got a good tradition carrying on with Nicole Casper over at the Historical Society, and Carl's involved, I'm involved. We just got Councilor Sullivan on the board and that's good. State Representative Cassidy. So No, no that's great, Yeah, because we have a rich history here. We really do. We really, really do. Just My watching 105.7 WRR going by, um, hearing a little bit of music, and then we have, um, well, Mr. Vinny's bubble is just making some yeah, bubbles right now, right? <laughs> bubbles? God. <laughs> So music, right in the bubble right there. Mu music and bubbles at the same time, right? <laughs> at the right. same time, at yeah. At the same time. Unreal. It's, yeah, it's musically bubbly. <laughs> and so now, now we have, we, who we got here? Oliver Ames High School Band under the direction of Rob Wheeler. Let's, let's take a listen.
great job. Thanks for showing Good up. Job. We really Good appreciate job. you being a part of this. Outstanding. Nice job, nice job. Nice job. You know, and it, it makes me feel really good nice job. that these the schools from the surrounding areas are coming in and participating in this, uh, well, Greater Brockton Parade, Oh, guys. it's nice. It's nice. It's nice to see that. Good collaboration. Yep. And following up, uh, I, see, I see Masons. Paul Lawrence Dunbar Lodge, number 19. Of course, the uh, Masons are always so generous, uh, and they do it anonymously, and uh, they don't ask for thank you, but they are so charitable nice. in so many ways, and uh, we, we thank them for being in the parade, absolutely. That's great. That's great. Great organization. And now we're getting over to, over to Ward 3. Yes. Kennedy, Kennedy School. School. Kennedy School. Outstanding school. All schools are outstanding. Kennedy School is is one of them as well you know it's a great great neighborhood down there been there for a long time ran very well excellent Proud principal oh excellent principal brian can't, rogan so can't brian's say always like the first one to sign up i'm so yeah. so excited oh. when he gets in there because now yep. you know the parade's coming yeah no he he's always there he's right there for it <laughs> look at that look at that float now you can't tell from the monitor uh, uh dennis but uh, that float that brian put together was a block long is it? Yeah, might have had the whole school on there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and does I think it, he does a great job, though. We have another there. band coming up. We have the East Bridgewater Junior Senior High School nice. Vikings marching band. And I think they're going to stop for the judges and stop for us and play. Groups are also being judged, so the judges have a big responsibility. They, they, they do, they do, they really do. There's a lot, a lot of great entertainment in front of them. It's, it doesn't make it easy. It's no, great. I like this angle better. I would never want to judge. We get too many oh. good folks. Oh yeah, good yeah. groups. Yes. There's Tiger Moore. Of course, Tiger Moore was one of marvelous Marvin Hagler's uh, sparring partners in the that's day. Right. That's tough guy, boy. Yeah. Tough guy. Used to work out with the medicine ball in the day, but it looks like the medicine ball has uh, landed right about the midsection. I don't know. There you go. We went to a different location. <laughs> yeah. We got the Wheels of Time Car, car Club. 
I know my school committee member friend, Brock Tony, and now East Bridgewater, Joe Dutcher's involved with that group. The old cars, oh, that's great. Those are the cars that Ooh, used to huh? uh, cruise the drag, right, yeah. John? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. back Dennis? in the day. Oh, cruise the huh? drag, yeah. Remember oh, that, God. Dennis? Yeah, go up and all the way up and turn around at the clock and come all the way back. You can only go to the clock now. That's, <laughs> 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 that's right. <laughs> yeah, it used to be two-way. Now it's They'll uh, ship it's you out to another yeah. angle if you come yeah. back. Yeah. Don't come back. <laughs> oh, I hear oh, yeah. engines yeah. revving up. Yeah. Yeah. That was a Pella. nice angle there. You have There's one of those Impalas? No, but I had a relative that had it, just like that, similar. Yeah. Tremendous. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at the camera. It was tremendous. My next door neighbor had one of those. Really? Yeah. Do you guys remember Levine Realty? Bernie sure. Levine and Al Levine. Well, Al lived next door to me on Ash Street, and his wife had one of those, at wow, that's those cars. Unreal. If These you touched great. his cars, you were in trouble. <laughs> Don't go near his car. Maybe we'll have that again someday with all these residents moving back into the downtown. Uh, you know, maybe we'll have a little bit of a classic uh, renaissance. Yeah. Sounds like a plan to me. There we go. El Camino. Look Just at as that. long as they're not... Uh, fire exhaust out the back. Right, right, right. Right. Well, you know, look at every yeah. just about every car from every generation. Right, look at this. Seems to be uh, represented here. But the the beauty about all of these sites um, is that you know there's tens of thousands of people down here, and it shows that the community is live and well. I hope folks right, that look at the dog, watch look at the dog, they're watching right there. The oh yeah. Right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. But Classic. you know, it shows that. Um, you know, the community is live and well. Oh, and, uh, you know, is. if there's things to do, and there are more and more things to do, uh, they will come. And I think restaurants are coming. Uh, I know you folks are working hard at, um, you know, really projecting the uh, business friendliness of the community, Dennis. Well, that's what, that's what we're trying to do. Hopefully we can hopefully we can get that really, you know, going a little bit faster than what it's been going. But I think, I think it's working. It's working. People are investing in the city. We can't say they're not. They are. We're we're right in the right location too, geographically. You know, close to Boston, close exactly. to Providence, um, gateway to the Cape. If you think about it, exactly. Affordable. That's what it's all about, right there. Look exactly. at exactly. That. that youngster's having a blast. South Middle School's coming up next. Miss okay. Goodwin May, I believe, is uh, one of the directors over there. And Davis and South are combined, I believe. Davis School. Right. Another school with a lot of spirit. All the schools in Brockton. We got a lot of spirit down there. That was, that's good. out like this anywhere else in the world. Come on. Music program right phenomenal. Here, right here in Brooklyn. Come on. Right here in Brooklyn. I, I did fourth through eighth grade and quite honestly uh, our, our grand marshal I thought he was too tough for me. I couldn't I couldn't hack it. My son went four years and was in all the bands and did you know Vinny what an inspiration to all the young people in Brockton over the years and, and the discipline and the hard work that pays off with, with, you know, they got awards. They didn't do it for awards. They did it, you know, for, for the for, love of music. Love yeah. of music and for the kids to get a great That's background great. and a training. That's right. That's right. Well, I had three go through the program, and I'll tell you, working with Mr. McQueen, Vinny, he's just been unbelievable. And I remember oh. back in the early 90s yeah. when we were trying to really formulate the identity of this exactly. parade. Exactly. And Vinny was very, very, um, he was very much in, in uh, support of oh, trying to bring all the exactly. talent all, from uh, right, elementary right, school to yeah. junior high up into the high school. Yeah. Brookfield Bears, Brookfield School. Of course, my wife's a secretary down at Brookfield and very happy that Brookfield is being represented today. 
So we're close to being about halfway through this parade. We are looking at number 46. This is know, part of the Brookfield. Part of the Brookfield. Uh, they yes, have a float. Yep, yep, they have a float, yes. Uh, and my wife, Shaw, uh, explained to me that this was going to be uh, a fantastic float. And I think there has to be five, 600. Well, you can't really tell. Once again, see how that, that we, sky cam, Dennis, makes it look, look like it's it, like it, a it very, does. right? But that, that, that's a block long for all of the, you are at home exactly, and cannot see this. I good. think the whole, maybe the whole first floor of that school is on that float. Looks good. Looks, looks good. Yeah, absolutely looks good. No. Okay, we put have a lot a of work into it. Dance Academy next, I think. Kids oh, love it. Right, right. We have uh, Spirit. Spirit of Excellence Christian Dance Studio. And uh, Patrice Ambrose is the director over there. Wonderful woman. Um, it's Christian Dance Studio. And she puts her heart and soul into this. And you'll see the performance here. Um, you know, a lot of these folks could have gone to Macy's, to the Macy's Day Parade, but absolutely. They're here. They're here, Dennis. They're here. You, you said it. They're here. They're here. I see the dancers behind the truck. And we want to thank all of the businesses that helped uh, Lynch's, I'm um, looking at this one, O'Breezy's oh, Junk Removal. Get a name for everything, right? Yeah, right. Everybody's helping out. That's um, right. Because it's the spirit of giving. Nice job. Yes, yes. Right there. And they're going to do a little performance for us. But yes, can't say enough about Dave Lynch. He's always the first in with his uh, with his uh, uh, flatbeds. You nice. Know, and uh, he's been very supportive from day one. seconds to a minute and uh, really make it easier for the judges to make a very difficult decision. It's tough. It's tough being a judge. It's not easy. The talent. And there you get to see the thousands in the crowd enjoying today's festivities. This is a number that I'm not familiar. And look at that right there. That speaks to uh, you know what's going on here. Just kids coming down and enjoying kids stuff. That's what it's about. That is about. That's what it's about. Right? about. Absolutely. The adults, I ain't. The adults <laughs> love being here just as well as the kids. Well, we're kids, aren't we? Uh, of course we are. I, I think at Christmas time we're all kids at home, aren't we? Look at the, look no at the thousands. Look at the thousands in no the crowd. Going back Looks to 10, good. 15 deep. Looks good. They had to shut it down early today, Dennis, because there was probably over 750,000 down here. All the way up until about 12 noon, they had yeah. to shut it down a little early. Oh, yeah. yeah. Moses Rodriguez in the back, of course. Yes. He's the one that's orchestrating the, uh, the technical aspects of these groups, you know, uh, really uh, manufacturing the when they stop and when, when they, they start. start. Yeah, how, that's good. It sequences. Yeah, well, that's good. Keeps it moving. Multi talent. Good job, good job. No, he's been an integral part as a volunteer for, for years. Long time, John. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, before he was on the council, he's very involved in the community, obviously, with the Cape Verde Association, and now being a city councilor at large, uh, takes a lot of commitment as a volunteer and as an uh, um, elected official. Yeah, that's Very does. dedicated. That it does. Just got a handshake from uh, Gene Bradley, Duran and Court, city councilor at large. Yep, Always the best dressed in his suit. Council, yeah. <laughs> he is. Well, we'll give him a... We'll give him a We'll give him a run for his money. I know somebody else that dresses me. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, uh, I, I'm, I'm not doing an advertisement, but it's now uh, Marion Brothers, right? Yeah, it was a little bittersweet, a little sad. We took my mom's sign, Alice Rasians, down uh, last week. And, uh, of course, we got her blessing, um, you know, sometime back in the spring. And it was time to take the two signs down and, and make one new one. It's yeah. Marion Brothers now. We'll have a nice yeah. new awning up. But but she's there in spirit. 
that's she's what, there. She's with us in that's, spirit. That's all, that, that's all that counts. They're always with you in spirit. They are. Well, she loved Christmas, and uh, yeah. she, she loved the new awning, and she gave it her blessing, as I said. So we're looking forward to it. Hey, when it, my younger day when he came downtown, my grandmother used to say the two biggest names on Main Street was was Marion, was, was your, your Alice mother, Rajan, Alice Rajan, yeah. and Fuginetti. Oh, yeah. And those were the two big names. Other than that, it was just, you know, five and dime. That's all she used to say, yeah. Right, right. Or, or, or Kemp's would get noticed once in a while, remember? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but that was Brockton. That's how it was then, no? We just saw the Brockton Assembly of God church go by with a float, all the kiddos on it. A wanted club. Yeah. Oh, here comes Little the ones. Fluff with Kevin Cardell. Fluff band. And Fluff is named after a great gentleman, uh, Joseph Fluff, who was yes. assistant uh, deputy superintendent deputy of schools, I think. Yes, and it was. was appropriate to name a school after him for all he did for the talented and gifted program uh, years years That's ago. It. One of the nicest men, Dennis, don't you think? Oh, you, you couldn't be, Joe. He was right there, and when it came to kids, he, he, he loved a quiet man, but got an awful lot done. And as you said, the talented, gifted program started under him, and, and it's still going strong today. It's, it's just tremendous. So. That's when I represented the people in Ward 5 uh, when this Fluff School was built. I was right there for that dedication. You know, here's, here's the, you know, I won't drown out the beautiful music, but I do want to say, if we continue to emphasize all the positive aspects of the community, okay, um, and, and realize for the new um, folks that are coming to live here, right. that the community is really rich with Art and culture, as Mark had said earlier. Yep. Uh, education. Yep. Okay, just to be a Brocktonian is a Absolutely. proud moment. And, you know, them, anybody coming to the parade can see that wealth of, uh, Absolute, of excitement. Absolutely. Another yeah. radio station that helped promote it, 96.9. Someone said their favorite station. I just heard them through the headset. It's a good station. And, uh, I'm glad that we're seeing more and more of the crowd because, you know, that's what we're here for. <laughs> we're here for them. And uh, what do we have here? B-City Reps Dance Studio. Another dance studio. A lot of dance studios this year. I'm very impressed. And that dance studio has uh, Newbie's sister. I think it's I think it's Cassandra, uh, who's involved in it. Newbie. Cassandra. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. She's out there someplace. Saying Newbie just uh, uh, debuted his newest documentary um, uh, recently. Um, he's won awards for his documentaries, uh, carrying on a social mission. The, the third one uh, has the police, the new police commissioner in Boston, uh, Commissioner Cross. Yeah, Newby's a great town. Newby and I partnered in about uh, two years ago to do a documentary on James Edgar and the uh, rich history of uh, what Christmas has meant to Brockton. And I think that's going to air uh, before the parade. Is that right, Mike? Yeah, we're going to we're going to blend it yeah. in with the parade. Yeah. That's Maybe great. not the first version this weekend, but uh, probably well, that's on okay. Monday. It's on 150,000 times. Exactly. So Paul's back behind us. Paul, Paul you want to sit down over here? Yeah. Which band is this, John? The, I think it's the West Middle School. Oh, is this is West and North. North. West and yes. North. West and North, yeah. Under the direction of Andrew Fantuccio. Fantuccio, that's right. Another Fantuccio, Italian. Fantuccio, another guy that does a great job in the program. Uh, I mean, we got a good leader group. We got a good farm system coming up. We're going to keep it going. We do. That's where it all starts. Fourth grade. We got to do everything we can to keep that program going. Keep it going. Good job. Look, at despite all the budget cuts and, and, and things over the years, we've always been able to never charge user fees for athletics long, or drama or anything. It's been a long time. A long, long it was time. In the, it was in the mid-80s under, under Proposition 2.5 when we had to do that. And it hurt, too. It hurt. Those years hurt us. 
Now we have uh, Master Soy so Theater Company coming, and uh, Mark Rocheteau uh, has always been a supporter of this uh, parade, but we want to encourage people to go to the Andrew performance of A Christmas Story, okay? And that will be playing starting December 1st and 8th at 8 o'clock and 2. 2nd and 9th at 3. Okay, 2nd and 9th at 3. So we'd like everybody, encourage everybody to go over and see him. It's always a great performance over there. You don't have to go to Boston. Different type of leg to keep on the end table, huh? And right behind them oh, yeah. is the uh, Brockton Area <laughs> Branch, the NAACP, which is 64 years old in Brockton. It's under the direction of Phyllis Ellis, who's the oh, president. Oh, it's the Grinch! That's oh, the float oh behind. Oh, my goodness! Right. <laughs> That's the Lisa Matter Dance Studio right here that we're looking at, and I can't believe the Grinch is here. Oh, God. I hope he doesn't mess up our Christmas, guys. Come on. Jesus. Huh? Matter Dance Academy has been a staple in Brockton for years. Hello, One Lisa. Lisa. Hey, Thank Lisa. you so How much. Are you? Wonderful How are you, job. Dear? I hope the Grinch <laughs> doesn't steal Christmas. <laughs> No. <laughs> and this is this is just a great performance uh, that uh, she always puts on. She does. Wow, that's great. Good job, as always. They're in sync. It makes me feel like you know. Like you want to go like, and dance. Like I got a little rhythm, huh? Buddy? Really, Charlie? You can go out there if you want. <laughs> I don't know if you're part of the choreography, though. <laughs> I don't know. Those girls are too good for me. I'd be tripping right about there, man. I'd be tripping. <laughs> I'd be a couple of steps ahead of you, John. I can't help this. The hip's not healed yet. It's not healed, but if it was, you'd be right oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great, huh? Wow, nice job. Nice job. Great gal, and she supports our parade 100%. And, uh, of course, Always. she's welcomed the uh, New England Professional Cheerleaders Alumni Association. Lisa was a Patriots cheerleader yep. way back when. She graduated with me in 1977. And uh, great. she brought the girls here. And, look at look, you know, it. look at that. It's great, huh? Yes. Well, that just goes to show another another family business that started here so many years ago still here in the city of Brockton. Oh, yeah, 100%. Matter School of Dance, you 100%. know what I mean? Yep. They're so committed to the city. God. Both her parents were. They started it all. Yep. Yep. Shirley and Eddie, wonderful Eddie. people. Yep. Uh, N-E-P-C-A-A, -A, New England Professional Cheerleader, just went Ashfield Middle School, right? And Yes, and we oh, have Mon Montilio's. Montilio's Baking, which is Ooh. right here in Brockton, Ooh. over on Spark Street. Nice. George now, Montilio. This is a nice. real gingerbread house. You can actually eat parts of that. Ooh. I mean, it's amazing, you know, that they have put this much time. That that also is a block long, God, Dennis. I'm telling you, look and at it. It takes George 364 look. days God, to put it together. Look at it. Nice. That leaves Look one day for the parade. Exactly. And now we have the Asheville Middle School and the East Middle School combined bands. Combined bands. Case. When he took over, he, he, he went gusto. He really did. Paul, get over here. Did you see the Montilio gingerbread house? I saw you doing it. That's why I'm really mad. <laughs> oh, now this, I, I want you folks to know that we worked very, very hard. Okay, to get the Spirit of America marching band here. I work with Sister Bridget. We've been working for over a year. Uh, they're a very patriotic group and an incredible uh, marching band that um, travels all over the country, as a matter oh, of fact. Oh, really? Oh, okay. absolutely. Wow. So we're going to enjoy this. This is great. That's 
Nice. Job covering this mine. Yes, I want to thank all my uh, my team members at BCA for all their hard work setting this up. It's a couple of hours before the event happens. Uh, it takes, we, it's one of our favorite events, John. You know that. You know what? You've supported us for all these years, Mark, and I can't thank you enough. You, along with the Brock and Enterprise, uh, WATD, but uh, most certainly. I didn't know that! Nice job. Tremendous. Impressive. Very much. see here and Everett's Auto Parts another business in Brockton that supports the parade and helps us out oh yeah this is Love Alliance and it's amazing uh, Tom Hanks it's it, it's gonna be it's the, it's the Polar Express <laughs> how'd they get Tom Hanks here <laughs> Louis <laughs> unbelievable great though look at it that's great super Paul how'd they get Tom Hanks here Wow. Thank you, thank you. Louie, how'd you get Tom Hanks here? <laughs> Paul, let's get, Paul, you gotta get on the Polar Express. You, you gotta get on the Polar Express. Okay, and now we have the Brockton Junior ROTC, led by Rick Clark. What an impressive group of young men and women. Oh, great group. Colonel Clark is just an outstanding. Uh, He's always done a tremendous job. Really, yes, he has. really has. And, and All the years I've known him, and, and it's just unbelievable. It's nice yeah. to have the program at the high school. To be true with you, very dedicated, really very dedicated yep. to the program. And yep. Mark, your, your son was involved in our. He team. was. He was. He 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 was in, involved for a uh, couple of years. I, I think it's a great program, and yep. it was Sergeant Major Hera, I think, at that yep. point. At that yep. point, it Not was. Yes. Yep. Hip. Uh, hip. Hip, Can you march hip, like hip. that, John? The pants are blue, your shirt is white. All right. Paul, he looks a little soft. Is he melted? Huh. What do we have? The Brockton High Marching Band. Brockton High Marching Band, it's coming. Hi, <laughs> Well, this is what we've been waiting for. I mean, it's a great way to bring it all in. And, it's nice. You know, we started the parade with Vinny as the parade marshal. Hey. And, you know, I'm hoping that he's going to march with his unit. I hope so. As a matter of fact, I'll let you in on a little secret before the music gets in front of us. We asked him if he would be on it to be our parade marshal. And he said, absolutely. But the only way he would do it is if he could march with his band. And, um, well, he was in the convertible at the beginning but and now I'm he's sure, gonna I'm sure he's here absolutely yeah. absolutely yeah. unfortunately the show got a little you know cheated away from him on uh, Thanksgiving day because of the you know severe cold and the instruments and everything it was just Mother too bad. But, but I'm sure it's somewhere at some point Scooter Pat will make up for that day for him, you know? well you know we're gonna do the award ceremony on March 23rd at the War Memorial and that's for the James Edgar Award recipient but this year we're gonna combine both the parade oh, nice. and that that's so nice. we're gonna Super. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Vinny! Vinny's, Vinny's 
Bam. Right there. That's good. Right here. Vinny's here. Now this is one of the, the things that we've been very proud of as a parade committee, and I gotta say, I gotta thank my parade committee. They are working tirelessly all throughout the year to bring this event uh, to the citizens in the community of Brockton. But one of the things that we wanted to do is bring lifetime life-size balloons, and we have both Frosty and Rudolph. The kids love this. Unbelievable, this is, this is great. <laughs> Why would you go to Macy's Parade? Why would you go to Macy's Parade? I mean, exactly. Seriously, it's exactly. here. It's here right. in the city of Brockton. Absolutely. It's right here with the champions. They're doing a great job. They caught Jack Frosty. He was going to launch a spitball at Frosty and deflate it, but he got him. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Appreciate that report. <laughs> and I'd just like to thank the Rodriguez family for uh, keeping an eye on, on those balloons and yes. making sure they're inflated. And, and, and you know, we Santa Slay was made at Southeastern Regional Vogue Tech. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, it was uh, the 2015, 16, and 17 years at Southeastern Regional uh, under the command of Roly Blanchett, Joe Mark, Shirley Ezrins, and Chad Winchell. Okay, I brought them a um, picture of the Macy's Parade and said, can you duplicate it? Not only did they duplicate it, okay, <laughs> they, they, they made it. They Look made at it. this yeah. thing. Look at it. Huh? Yeah. There we go, huh? Merry Christmas, Santa. Here's Santa. Here's Santa. Merry, Merry Christmas, Santa. He's sizing us up to see if we were good or bad. Yeah, that's right. I know. Yeah. I'm a little concerned. Yeah. Yes, I am. Dennis, are you concerned? I am very concerned. Yeah. <laughs> very concerned. <laughs> that's... So that's, that is it for the holiday parade. That's great. Well, 2018. Yeah. Paul's right behind us. We can yeah, share my... Job well, Job well done. Job well done. Thank you, Paul, Thank we're you. a little concerned. Did you have a little word? I know you didn't go out quite when he was here, but earlier, did you have a little word about uh, you know whether or not we'll be getting anything for Christmas? Because the three of us are a little concerned. Uh, we'll just have to see. Just <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 We'll, we'll wait till then. So you know, before we well before we uh, sign off, I just like to say um, it, I'm a proud uh, Brocktonian. Um, being a part of this event makes me. Um, really want to be here all the time with the citizens the people that are living in the community now i want to thank all the businesses uh harbor one and eastern bank rockland trust tl edwards you know edwards auto winch's towing all our sponsors bca you know uh, the enterprise right watd the city of brockton the, the mayor the councilors the school department yep. without the school department Right. This would not be uh, right. the event that is. That at, makes it into the You're community. absolutely right. Without the school oh. department, it would never, it would never be there. Exactly. I think we got, I think we got the high right. sign. To we got the high sign. Santa, 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 Santa Moses. Moses. Wait, 
We don't listen to him on the council. Why are we going to listen oh, to him? Oh, good there point. you go. Good well, point. you're the president. You outrank That's him anyway. That's exactly right. Exactly. But, you so. know, last night when we <laughs> had the James Edgar evening, uh, I just wanted to say that, you know, uh, all the folks that put this together behind the scenes, we'd like to thank them, okay? And But the truth is, is that if we don't have children believing, okay, we can't have these magical moments. That's right. And so to the children out there and to the families, That's right. Merry exactly. Christmas, Happy Merry Kwanzaa, Christmas. Happy Holidays, Feliz Navidad, Happy Hanukkah, okay? Because we are... A community rich with culture, uh, and that's why we're great as Brocktonians. Absolutely. absolutely. Thank you. Thanks thank for you all you're doing. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Paul, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank joining Thank you for letting me be a part of it. Seriously. Keep yeah. up the good work yeah, up and, there. And, Let's bring some more and businesses and, in. And I tell you, as president of the city council, on behalf of the city councilors, we, we definitely respect everything that you people do every and each year. To be truthful with you, I mean, it's it's right here, and it's all for the kids. So thank, thank you. you. Right back to you. All right. Thank you. See you next year. See you next year.